Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here at the military airport... Security is very, very tight. God knows why we have to get him. If it was hard, yes. We could have whisked him down to Barnard. But the name, yes. Yeah, that's all it is. Don't be wishing to suspect leukemia. What if I can show it is? Then back he goes, sister. We don't want any dead presidents clushing up the corridors of this hospital. How the bomb was introduced into the president's car and by whom is a mystery which the Swiss police are still trying to solve. There's been a further attempt on the president's life at a meeting of the non-aligned nations in Bogota. To date, there have been eight attempts on his life. Here he comes. Here he comes. Relax. Let your visit mean you change your attitude. You be sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is an unofficial visit. Guard of honor present and ready for inspection. Sir. behind him, the Tiger of Gamba now embarks on the last lap of his journey.
happening? What happened here? Huh? It doesn't seem anybody's hurt. Well, uh, what about the bat? Oh, he was in the other car. He's safely tucked up in hospital by now. After what happened, of course it's necessary. Time to continue to guarantee the president's security, gentlemen. Precaution. Like switching cars. If he hadn't insisted. Oh, for God's sake, just do as you're told. Mr. President, tomorrow I shall start taking tests. Maximum acid output first, and then a bone marrow biopsy. This will entail an anesthetic. I would prefer that you didn't have any visitors. Very well, Doctor. I'm in your hands. But if I'm to be out of action tomorrow, I would ask you, gentlemen, to please excuse me. I would like to confer with my aide. Colonel Pala, I'm very pleased with you. Thank you, sir. Not used to being complimented by a black man, eh? Didn't mean to sound patronizing. But it's an easy habit to get into. Isn't it? I look in later, sir. Do that, Colonel. I told Dr. Sensor, low blood pressure and palpitation. And you know the two of them don't work very well together, eh? Take them safe, Dr. Sensor. Take them safe, Dr. Sensor. Captain Mora will be uh, on duty right through the night, sir. Don't think I'm being oversensitive about security. But this afternoon... The... No, there'll be a... There'll be a man stationed outside your door at all times. The Zoe wing has been closed off and you're its only patient. Well, this is Slade, your male nurse. Present. The tea. And I want you to settle down for the night. Excuse me. Why do nurses of either sex bully their patients? And treat them like naughty children. Happen, I guess. Usually works. Well, I'll uh, say good night then, sir. Kill it tomorrow, Colonel. Romeo and Juliet, Colonel. Shakespeare. Sir, so, if you need me, there's a red button by your side. And uh, no candy. You're American. Yes, sir. Louisiana. Babies are being born every day. Oh, well. Uh, Slade. Yes, sir. The old thingamadings got a bad attack of the jitters. Keep an eye on him for us, will you? Look, I'm a nurse, not a cop. Thank you. With the extra security people around, he shouldn't come to any harm. Ah, please, God. About this afternoon, who do you reckon's behind it? Uh, uh, someone uh, from the Brotherhood, most likely. That gang's been after him ever since he took over. Over. Yes. Okay, see you. Right. Darcy, could you go and give Sister Coatsy a hand in Ward 3? I uh, think she needs some help with all Mrs. Kendall. I suppose she wants turning again. Old cupboard's large, she weighs a ton. You could have sent me. I'm paid to work. Yeah, I could. But uh, I want to talk to you. Oh, what? There's something wrong. What is it? 
Sister Hobart, not during working hours. Don't sit near me. Look, I know we're not sleeping together anymore. Let's start things off. Hey, sailor. What happened to that guy that flew into town three years ago? He always had something. There was something. <sighs> what happened to it? I began to feel uh, ridiculous. Playing the youngster. Wow. You really hit below the belt, don't you, Slade? Let's face it, Jane. That's where you and I live. Below the belt. That's all you ever wanted from me, Slade. Jesus. You're the only guy that's ever made me feel like a whore. What's I do? It's over. Jane, you and I, we just screwed it up. Yeah. I guess I just couldn't compete with a 15-year-old kid. Taylor, you're going to listen to me. Yes, ma'am. You are so riddled with guilt. Slade, you're overcompensating. You're excluding everybody else from your life. Getting you. Not... Oh, God, I hate... You know, I just... I hate this Freud crap. And what, what, what the hell's wrong with a man loving his daughter? That's not the point. You're sick. Because I prefer my daughter to you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Right. I want you to know something. I knew Mary. What about Mary? What about Mary? I worked with her. When she died, I phoned you up, right? I, I know all about that. Yeah. Oh, Slade, how the hell do you know Ginny's your daughter? Sure. Yeah. Look! She is mine. Because I made her mine. I have been ringing for hours. You've been ringing for less than a minute, sir. No. If I stop behaving like a naughty child, will you intend to procure me one small glass of whiskey? I could use whiskey myself. But it's, uh, it's not on your list. Anything else? You know, when I specifically asked for a man to come among my nurses, I hope you'd be more sympathetic. Well, uh, sympathy I, I, I can't give you to. Don't you hell with sympathy. Can you be bribed? Try me. Ha! Ah, it's always a pleasure to do business with you, American. You're less complicated than my Russian colleagues. Now, what if I wanted something which is not on the list? How much would it cost? Well, that ain't matter, sir. Say, uh, a million bucks. <laughs> oh, chicken feet, compared to what some people would pay to make me happy. Unfortunately, I don't have the catch on me. Trust me. I don't take bribes on credit, sir. Oh, well. So I'll have to limit my demands to a mild sedative. For oh, one cigarette? I gave up smoke. Do. Would you like to borrow my book? You like uh, cowboys and Indians? I like Indian. 
feria, en también los dis. The wind in the willows. What's it about? About little fairy bands. Fairies. Furry. Oh. To be honest, I just wanted someone to talk to. About what? Great men talk about ideas. Idiocre man talk about events, and small men talk about personalities. Which are you, Mr. Slade? Me, I just collect garbage, sir. I'll tell the assistant about the tranquilizer. And remind her I'm not on adult patrol. I don't want to be worked into false saddle. Mr. Slade. Yes, sir. Everyone has his pride. Yes, Mr. President. Jane. Sent her love? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Thank you. You're uptight about something. No, I am. I'm just poop. I can feel it. You're all tied up in knots. That's enough. Sit down. Of course, sit down. Jenny, how much money have we got in the bank? Ah, uh, so that's it, money. Oh, we're doing all right. We've got 1800 in the bank, not counting your next paycheck. And we've still got Mom's money. What do you want to know for? I may be going into a deal with a guy. No. No deal. Well, I think I have. That's why I need the money. You're thinking of blowing town. Maybe. Yeah. Well... You've given me more, uh, more of everything than uh, I'm, I'm sure anybody has ever had. And if I tried to stop you going, I'd spoil it and I'd really lose you.
Mr. President, will you come away from that open window this very minute? Am I to take it that breakfast is served finally? No, you're not. You're to take a bath. We're getting you ready for the theater. <sighs> Mother, you are a happy. Now, Mr. Shannon, you know the rule, boy. You're supposed to be in bed when the doctor makes his run. Come on, get in. I'm just standing around at the window. Mm. Five fifty. And you got a deal. It's a bargain. You know something? With a wife and six kids and a birthday coming up next month, why should I hold that for sin? Okay. You'll uh, take a check, huh? Now and save myself a trip later. They're only delicious. You want some? No, no. Have you two been fighting again? Fight. Duck. Yes, it is, sir. I'll open the drapes in a second. Well, I... I have to give you another injection, sir. More tests this morning. Dr. Schaefer finished yesterday. I don't believe he did. Left arm or right arm, sir? Left. Are you sure about this? Yes, sir. But Dr. Schaefer definitely said completed. You didn't swap my arm. Thank you, sir. You didn't. Thank you. 
One way of killing time. Uh, How is he? Oh, he's uh, sleeping. Oh, man, it's been a long night. That's right. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Welcome. No, I can't. I gotta stay here. Slave, huh?
He's not there. I took the president his tea and he's not there. Did you look in the uh, can? I certainly did not. Then we will uncheck, please. He's a pusher, Doc. He's a pusher. <laughs> Downers, you know, to keep yourself from getting tense. Downers? <laughs> That's all anybody can do to get me to swallow an aspirin. I see. Downers. Taken regularly, certain barbiturates can provoke the same symptoms. But in your case, let's just say it's a mystery. Once you're dressed, I'll sign you out. We can use the bed. The way I heard it, they got another empty bed they weren't expecting. Huh? Our very important patient. Skipped. Well, looks like I'm about to skip myself. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We, we've tried our best, but so far there's just... I don't want your excuses, Colonel. I want the President back. Unharmed and within 48 hours. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I can't guarantee that. For local press, we can handle Colonel. But the Gambon delegation... They've given me 48 hours until this story makes international headlines. Tell me again, Colonel, and your own fate will be no less spectacular. Anything else?
will have to unlock me. But didn't work. It wasn't meant to. Where, where, where's the the can opener? Was well, there? Does it? Miserable things, too blunt. When did you reach up this little escapade? Yesterday. Really? Political or financial? Strictly financial. Good. Political kidnappers scared the living jealous out of me. Debt or poor greed? I need the money. What are your terms? A million dollars. And a plane to get me out. You have a commonplace mind, Mr. Slade. Oh. Uh, a million dollars and an aircraft. But now... What should I have asked for? A thousand bucks and a bicycle? Perhaps it's, uh, it's warm. It's clean. And when do I get out of here? When they pay up. 
Breathe deep now. I'm breathing, I, I'm breathing. And we can do a flesh of the back chat. Sister, I was told I could find uh, Colonel Parler here. And there's a note, too. Hey, hey, what about the steam? Here, yeah, you breathe for me. Buy some tea? <sighs> Splendid idea. I have no inkling to keep me because we're so civilized. No. I'm an exception. Look, I can't police you every second. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to change again. Trust me. Do you? No. What if they don't pay up? What then? Well, you and I have a problem. You wouldn't consider harming me anyway. I don't think so. More tea. Yes, sir. enough to die? Not quite yet. If you die, I'll starve to death. And I'm not ready yet. Neither am I. I'll get you tea. The note said the president himself will call and give us further instructions. Here? No, the hospital. Presumably because there are some of the staff who can identify his voice. I, uh, I want one of our men on the hospital switchboard at all times. When the call comes through, I want to transfer directly to me. I'm going over there now and I'm uh, not leaving unless I've spoken to the president. We probably don't stand a hope in hell, but uh, uh, get a tracer set up and a tape recorder plugged into the, uh, the board, okay? What 
What if I decide to make a rump? I believe you. I'm wider than you. What am I like? Lona, 45 cents. I give a tip. Now, here's a telephone number. And that's the message. And that's all you're going to say. Okay? Okay. Yes. Do you mind if uh, he uh, uses it? No, no, no. There you are. thousand dollars in used notes. Yeah, I've got that, sir. I'm at destination. Oh, one more thing. Uh, can we expect the Brotherhood to make any further demands? Brotherhood? Brother. Where did you get that? Well, did you expect me to use my name? That was a very intelligent ruse, Mr. Slade. They do have banal minds. Come on. Excuse me, how much was that call? Ten cents. Is there any change? You can hardly expect me to pay for that call. Uh, I have no change. Thank you. Can I have a chocolate bar? What? Mm, excuse me, um, chocolate bar. I'm hungry. Chocolate bar? Please. Okay. Which one do you want? I have one of this. Milo? Hey, give him a Milo. And I'll take uh, a snack. That's always about a hundred thousand dollars. Just sort of good thing. That's what it said. There you are. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't like this one. Can I have this one? He doesn't want a Milo. He wants an aerial. And the million? It's factory. Okay? Okay. A hundred thousand dollars is an insult in this small amount. Ah, you don't understand. You see, if I invested at, uh, say, uh, ten percent, well, that's, uh, uh that's ten thousand dollars a year. So I'm to provide you with some income? Yes. You're growing stranger by the minute. Why the hell do you think I did this? Why did I do it? Why the hell did I do it? I mean, how the hell does a man explain to someone he loves it? <laughs> He's a criminal. I mean, how can I justify that to you? Sure, I keep telling myself I, I did it for her. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Jim, remember that time I went to Cape Town for a couple of days and I told you I was going fishing with a boy? I told you a lie, babe. I really went down to have a blood test done. And uh, uh, they told me what I already knew. <laughs> In other words, they, they told me to forget about my next birthday cake. But, uh, now I ask myself, what the hell is my reason for dying? I mean, I, I don't know. I, I do know my, my only reason for living has been you. And you see, I have a, I have this desperate desire to, to leave you something, something for the future that I, I, I can't, I can't have with you. You know, kid, the thought of you. And in the years that I won't be around, you know, that pain for me is a million times worse than this, this stupid pain in my gut. Honey, I have to pull this crazy thing off. 
Anyway, honey, to hell with... To hell with understanding and forgiving me. Look, you... Just try to go on loving me. Yeah. Just go on loving me. Got main station here, overlooking the main road. Colonel, it is understood that no move will be made until the president is returned. Perfectly, Minister. My brief is to identify and hopefully shut up. And the money genuine? Yes, it's genuine. One hundred thousand in used small denomination notes. <laughs> the plane ready? Ready, yes. Crewed and fueled. Good. Money? Money, yes. Right. In. Dump it and out. Don't hang around. Go! the flames away from the dense timber 
and down onto the bushlands, where only the scrub and buildings of the now deserted Dorf mine lie in its path. Roads in the area should provide a natural fire break, and no additional action is contemplated. your money. Just let me go. You're crazy. You're the only thing I've got left to bargain with. You gambled and you lost. Or you lose if you insist on hanging on to me. Come on. Get back in the van. Get back in the van! And if I refuse to budge, look, don't make me use force on you. You stupid. Why did you come back? Now I owe you. Okay. One last throw then. last year. Where we picnicked tonight? Now, just wait a minute, honey. I want you to come here. I want you to bring some blankets, empty out the medicine chest, and uh, just get here. Well, we're not feeling very well. Neither of you? Honey, I I'll tell you about that later. Just, just come here. I'll start right now. Okay, honey.
Why not? You saved me. Mr. Slade. Yeah? Could I have a drink? Go ahead. Same technique to break into the British gun. In you go. See if the land funds. choose our parents, can we? How do you do, Mrs. Slade? My father's done a very wrong thing, Mr. President. I know why he did it. Because on behalf of the Slade family, I apologize. I really am sorry. Hey! Where's the medicine? Where'd you put it? It's in the corner. In the corner. Look, sit here. Okay. You, you've got to take him back. Honey, I've gone too far. You've got to. No, baby, no way. Take him back to the hospital. Then come home for a bath and a shake so you'll look decent when the police arrive. Dad. Take him. Take him water. Anyway, I don't want the money. You can't make me take it. Okay. You didn't do it for me. You know I... How could you say you did it for me? You know I wasn't touched a penny. All right. All right, it's not for you, it's for me. Look, I'm gonna make this thing work. I'm gonna make something work in my life. But you've done so much. What? What besides the Navy? I built Brasilia and, and the pipelines in Alaska and, and the highway in Burma. Honey, it was all a lie. I never went to Burma. And the Navy? I bumped around trying to be somebody, but I was, I was nothing. What the hell have I done the last three years? I emptied out bedpans, just wiped up the garbage. What the hell am I? You're everything and I love no, 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 you. You, you, you love me because of lies I told you. No. But I'm nothing. Break it out for a moment. I hate emotional family scenes. And you sure have a hungry head of state on your hands. <laughs> Keep, please. 
the president been found? Not yet. He hasn't. Huh? Now what? Oh, you stay put till I call you. Trust the local police. They'll find him for us. I just hope Mrs. Death is worth all this hassle. Oh, I'm guaranteed by the Russians it will be. If they fail me, I'll have to try the Americans, won't I now? You're too much, baby. What is it? Nothing. Jane? I, uh, I caught him at it on Friday night. He uh, said he'd taken some APC. Ooh. Sailor. Slave. Did you check if anything else was missing? Of course not. Why should I? Check now, Jane. Please. What's Slave's number? Oh, come on. Jenny's no. number, please. You can't seriously think that Slave... I'm not thinking anything. I want to check something. Come on, please. What's his number? Um... Just a um, moment. It's, um... 728 three, six, four. Seven, eight, double, three, what? 64. Six, 64, please. This is Colonel Parler. <sighs> Intravenous value. Quite a lot. Enough to put the old boy to sleep, maybe? Yeah. Doing then? Uh, just minding my own business. Well, it's our business. How come? Because this is ours. It's Redmond. No one comes yet unless we let them. Well, not anymore, because my dad brought it. Bought it. Yeah, that's right, son. I uh, I bought it. You mean we can't come here anymore? Yeah, sure. Why not? When I when I fix it up, you come back. You're an American, aren't you? He talks like a cowboy. Cowboys are American. Oil place, boy. Call the gentleman, sir. What is it? The police are anxious to interview Ernest Hobday's play. Son, turn that off. Here, give me that, son. That's who you are. Give me that! Come on, Dad, let's go! Come on, Slate. Let's get out of here. Come on, Flake. Could you just give us the details of the van you sold him? And I give him the details? Here. Here's the pepper. As soon as I hear his name on the radio, I call. Like a good citizen, I call, and what happens? Suddenly, my place is swarming with policemen, and I'm dragged out here. Excuse I've got me. a business to do. I've got to sell motor cars. I've got a living to earn. Give us down. Dodge van. Brown. Registration number, TJ-303-809. Dad, we can't expect to stay so lucky. Those kids will have told us, and they must know about the van by now. I know, I know. Choice is yours, Mrs. Slade. The description of the van has been confirmed by a woman in Hutterbeer's boat. She didn't see it herself, but her sons did. Sir, they've been spotted. Where? They crashed the barrier on the Pretoria Johannesburg Road. That's it through to the flyers. Flight captain, identification of van is Brown Dodge One Tonner. Letters KC on rear doors. Observe, but do not endanger occupants. Repeat, observe, but do not endanger occupants.
We've got him, sir. He stopped at the bottom of the cableway. Should they intercept? Tell them to observe. Do not intercept. Repeat, do not intercept. Roadblocks here. Yeah. Slade, his kid, and the president have gone into the terminal, sir. Colonel, I wonder if I might pass on this marvelous news. There's a telephone next door, Minister. Thank you. Right, gentlemen, we move in. A cableway is somewhere above the RWS board there. Well, according to the radio, the whole army's out chasing him. Then you better get to him before they do, hadn't you? I'm gonna need a little time. I'll see you get it. Use it well. Your own time is running out, Mr. Shannon. Like all patients. <laughs> <laughs> What happens if they turn off the power? That could be embarrassing. One thing I forgot to mention. I hate heights. Don't, Dad, don't! Can't sit here like ducks. Jenny, how are you? Jenny, Jenny, hey, don't, don't, don't look down, honey. Don't look down. All right, Jenny, I've got you. Give that another one, Jenny. Yes, that's it. Go up. <laughs> don't worry. Here, here. That's it. That's it. Don't look down. That's it. Get your balance now. All right. Just keep looking at me. I know. I'm going to count three. Then you jump. The way you used to, remember? Huh? Okay. One. Two. Three! <laughs> you all right? <laughs> The old man's proud of you. Hey, if we jump, right? Eh? You two, please get out of the way. Come on, sir. It's not necessary, Mr. Smith. No one caught you, so no one's gonna catch me. Okay. Funny if I don't make it. I'm the only one who's gonna be upset. That'll make two of us, Mr. President. Good. Then I'll make it. Come on, then, jump! Then move away from there! Hey. 
Didn't help that leg much, huh? What's more important is we made it. <laughs> I want the whole area cordoned off. Set up a barrier down there. Once your men are in position, they wait until I give the order. I'm going to try and coax him out. who want me dead. Down there, now, there are thousands who want you dead. The price we pay for being somebody, how does it feel, Mr. Slade? Have you got something to write on? Huh? You got something to write on? Money in the cable car. What? We left that money in the cable car. <laughs> How very clever of you, Mr. Slade. Very clever. Top terminal and observe. Ground control to flight captain. Ring top terminal and observe. Tell them to keep visual contact until our boys are in position. Colonel wants you to keep visual contact until police are in position. Over. Roger. suggest you don't make any move to release me, as it may jeopardize my position. Uh, may I speak to Slade, sir? I'm afraid Mr. Slade insists, and I mean insist, that all negotiations are done by me. What are his conditions? 
Mrs. Slade doesn't want his daughter endangered anymore. She is coming down with all the conditions of my release. So please, put the power back on. Put the power back on. I thought I did rather well. And inform all units to hold their positions. And don't fire. His daughter is coming down. The old situation has changed. You can't touch them. your face if they say no. We hear a saying, oh God, look back on what we know and go, man. What the hell does that mean? Careful what you want, you might get it. Anyway, she said. Sister, if I, if I think you like watermelon. I am fond of watermelon. Yeah, so am I. So what? But tell me, are you really sure that we do have real? As a matter of fact, yeah, I do. You know why? I don't know. Because as kids, you played around with drum crab. You in the West believe for tomorrow. Then the East 
before yesterday. We live for now. 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 Instructions of His Excellency President Lundau Gamba, the government hereby guarantees the safe conduct of Ernest Hobday Slade and his daughter Virginia Mary Slade to the American consulate, where they may remain until Mr. Slade is well enough to be flown out of the country. All men to opposition, do not fire on this order. Start winding here. Yes. Yes. They have accepted. What are you going to do with that? It never was mine. I hate giving that money. You'll soon have your president back to you, Minister. The sooner, the better, I can. Right, they still don't trust me, huh? It's me they're concerned about. You're expendable. Sir. Helicopters reporting someone shooting at the cable car, sir. Our orders were no firing, just cover! Negative. Not ours. Investigating. Inform all units to seek and destroy. All units seek and destroy. It's not the only problem we've got, Colonel. Oh, my God. Got him. From you, he's at 10 o'clock. Inform all units on the ground to converge at 10 o'clock. Mr. President, we cannot get any closer. 
or a down draft could knock you off. Here come Marines. Sir, if you can climb from the car onto the pylon next to you, we can then come in and hoist you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure, it's easy. With wings. Come on, let's go. Oh, God. Flay. Oh, Christ. Slade! Uh, Slade! Uh, You've been a battle hat! I understand that. That's one thing they don't do. Tigers. They don't do what? They don't cry. Slade? We'll have to go across. After you, sir. Jimmy. Oh, Are you all right, Mr. President? Did he hurt you? Less than most people. 